Well, hello everybody. Good morning or good afternoon or good evening, depending on where it is where you are. For me, it is afternoon. It's a Wednesday today. Kitty Cat is fast asleep. She is out. <laughs> that cat is out. How are you guys doing? Uh, I want to thank Lexington for giving out five gift subs already. What a way to start a stream. Thank you so much. Also, Becky with a 32 month reset. Thanks, Becky. Game sounds high. People keep telling me it's low. Let me turn it down. <laughs> I've been I've been messing with this because I want to never hear about it again. And I also want it to be correct. <laughs> and it's 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 troublesome. <sighs> Is the cat on the t-shirt also Kira? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I sold these in like, what, 2018, 17, four or five years ago, I sold these as merch. I think these might be the ones that say, uh, I don't know. They have like a, a signature on the back of them. Um, we haven't had these for a while, but uh, I hung on to the Kira shirt because the print still looks brand new and because it's one of my comfiest shirts and I knew I was going out for a walk today. <sighs> so hello, welcome. I today, I have one goal that's that I wanna do. And then I have another goal that I want to try. And I think I can do both of them. So let me log in and I'll show you what I'm, what I'm talking about. <sighs> um, got almost 700 ciphers from boxes today. Holy, you're, you're doing it. You're trucking. Ryan with a 31 month reset. 31 months. I'm in my comfy shirt. Yay. Been MIA. Sorry, kind of. Sorry. Hope all is well. No worries. Uh, I hope all is well with you. I hope if you are still at the pet shop, that they're treating you all right. Uh, signature is Hazel. Yeah, it should say by Hazel because um, 2017 me was really proud of having um, commissioned a design of her cat. <laughs> the signature was by me. Loving the lip color today. Why, thank you. I, for whatever reason, when I wear this particular shirt, also I sold a progenitor Essentia. <laughs> this is how I'm going to recover from having to buy my rank 7 legendary piece. Uh, for whatever reason, when I wear this shirt, I like this lipstick. Uh, do we like Sylvanas or do we not like her? I'm not sure anymore. Well, what what do you like? Do you like Sylvanas? Um, I'm I I've never found it behooves me too much to identify too much with the the, the royal we in terms of WoW Phantom because there's lots of they, people, the we likes likes or dislikes things for all kinds of reasons and you gotta you gotta choose for yourself. Check out my osteo wings. I thought these went with this transmont kind of a little bit. I know the colors aren't perfect. Uh, maybe I should adjust the colors of the shoulders or something like that, but. Um, I just, I like having wings on a, on a priest and I do have the Kyrian wings as well. I have those in three colors, but these ones are just so perky. They're like the, the, the high ponytail of, of, um, wings. And I like the movement on them. Um, I don't accept gift packages anymore. I no longer have a post office box. <sighs> um, having trouble figuring out which class to play. Tired of staring at druid forms all day. Wish I could see my transmog more. I like casters for that. Although I can't recommend shatter priest because then you end up looking at this, which is less exciting. Okay, so there's two things that I want to do today. One of them is I am, if I look at my pets and I look at the ones that you can get from pet battles and I look at Xerath Mortis, there is only one more left. Mind you, none of like, all these all, they're all terrible. Um, I didn't get good qualities of any of them, but I have hunted down everything, um, including the Scarlet Protoavian, which was a bit tough. Um, Flabby helped me with uh, spawns for that one. This is, a, this is a rare spawned version of the regular proto-avian pet. See, so if you kill critters, um, you can maybe force a spawn of this if you're lucky. Anyways, I have everything except for the Maw Touch Geomental. And evidently what you need to do for that is get a questionable Maw Shroom from Corthia. Oh, so sick. Okay. Um, <laughs> apparently you get a, you get a I, I, I'm going to Corthia because you need to like eat a Maw Shroom. Let me double check this actually. We're gonna go to Wowhead because that's my homepage. And um, I believe you eat a mushroom and then you can find spawns of these in the geomental area in the southeast area of the zone. So I want to get one of those so that I have all of the wild pets sorted for Xerath Mortis because that's one of the things on my to-do list. Merlin Yensid, thank you for the two-month reset. Thanks for being a bright spot in my week. Anytime. Uh, wobble bone wings. Mm. Messed up in research. Now I have to wait five days to unlock protoform. Oh no. It'll happen eventually, but that's a real bummer. That sucks. <sighs> um... Any future tattoos? I am back in Canada. Mm. I have, I do want some, but that I am, I am, there's a couple things in my life that are, are very much later me problems and tattoos is one of them. I am really happy with my sleeve. My sleeve is completely finished and I don't want to start anything new for like 
a couple years, like at least a year, if not a couple of years. I want to get um, I want to get a tattoo on my left ankle because I have a little mark there that I gave myself when I was like a preteen because I was dumb, um, and I want to cover that up because it's dumb. Um, it doesn't look like anything because I was twelve. <sighs> so I want to get I want to get that something put there. I was thinking like a fish, um, but I am not in a big hurry because nobody ever sees my ankles. Because why would they? Um, so And it doesn't really bother me all that much. So I figure I'm going to leave that alone for the moment. Let's go to Corthia <laughs> and go loot some mushrooms until I get a mushroom, I suppose. Uh, I need to be very careful to not accidentally vendor it because I'm pretty sure I put the questionable mushroom onto my junk list with auto vendors. So I'm going to take a look at that. Want to make, wait more like a decade, a year is nothing. Just for the ankle one though, any major projects I feel like would be closer to a decade. I want to save something for like mid to late 30s Hazel to get done. Um, I feel like mid 20s Hazel had her, you know, this was teenage, this was 19 year old me, 18, 19 year old me did this, and then 28, 29 year old me did this. Give it another 10 and then we can look into like back or legs or something. We'll see if I, if I still want, if that's what I want at the time. Should I pick up anything? No, I just want, I just want the mushroom. I don't want anything else down here. <sighs> Deleted all my rift keys and teleporter repairs. Mm -hmm, me too. I, there is not enough bag space in the world to accommodate Zareth Mortis stuff and Corthia stuff at the same time. There just isn't. Back to Corth. I just need, oh yeah, I was going to read. That's right. Um... Grab yourself some questionable mushrooms. Eat the mushroom and look around for a bit. Okay. <laughs> We're doing that. So I just need to find some mushroom treasures. I don't need to get my... I think I deleted... No, that's a moss-worn cache. <laughs> that scared me for a moment because I'm like, ooh, moss-worn caches. Those have a chance to contain um, a plague... A, a maw rat tail, but not these ones. <laughs> I'm assuming not these ones. That would be funny. Tori's dead. Thank you for the 17-month resip. Hi, Hazel. Hope you're well. Hello. I'm doing quite well. Thank you very much. Nice snail. When did that happen? Yesterday? Did I not craft this yesterday on stream? I thought I made it yesterday. I got the pattern the day before. Um, so I went, because you loot this in the first room of the raid, there is a chain hanging off of a plant that is kind of off to the left side as you're staring at the boss wall. And uh, you can loot the, the pattern there. And then yesterday on stream, I was running by some snails and I was like, ooh, I should, I want to heal this at lattice. Maybe I should kill some snails. So I killed like three snails and got it. It was stupid lucky. Although I feel like I have that luck. Ooh, a mushroom. When it comes to, to the lattices, I... I've been getting really lucky, or maybe they're just not that crazy rare, but it feels like every time I'm like, oh, you know what I want is I want like a Vespoid Lattice, and I just like kill a couple batches of bees, and I'm like, oh, hey, there's my Vespoid Lattice, job done. It's nice when things work out. <laughs> Rubber Duck 73 thank you for the brand new sub. Welcome to the Squirrel Squad. <sighs> yeah, yeah, second, second half of the stream, that's true. Finally unlocked the mount crafting today. First thing I'm doing is getting a snail mount ASAP. The raid one's probably the easiest, yes. I would agree. It's also one of the prettier ones, if you ask me. Ooh, I decided that what I want to do... Did I get it? No, actually. I got squished mushrooms. I decided that what I want to do is I want to craft one of each model type of mount before I make any dupes and before I make any pets. Because the pet models I already have through Wild Pets. You know, I do want to craft a chicken and a bunny, but I have chicken... You know, I have Xerath Mortis chickens and bunnies already from just from having done um oh for heaven's sake <laughs> just from having done uh, wild pet hunting so i'm not in as big of a hurry for those but i want one of each mount models so i want a vambata soon um next time i do raid clear which is going to be tonight and tomorrow when i'm in the holandris area i want to go loot there's we found i say we it was not me somebody found the curious crystal sniffer pattern after the second it's in the second holandris chamber somewhere something about a bridge i need to look it up again also you know what <laughs> you know what <laughs> i have door of shadows for a reason i wonder if running around corthia with door of shadows is gonna make me really want to um really wish that i had had it like for all of this time <laughs> in corthia because i never did <laughs> anything no okay um i've never i never i used to vendor these things all the time how uh, did you watch the race at all? I clicked in a few times and I saw that nobody was calling mythic bosses yet. And I went, huh, that's funny. Um, and also it checks out, you know, it makes sense. But then I saw on Wowhead right before I started the stream that somebody early morning, early start, 
Somebody, somebody with an early name, which I thought was appropriate, got a world first mythic vigilant guardian kill. So congrats to them. Grabbing a coffee. Why do we need mushrooms? It is for a pet. Uh, I want to capture a maw touched geomental and you need the questionable mushrooms for it. And oh, you know what I should check? Betcha I could just sell. I could just buy some. I should see if they're expensive. The snail is really cool. Early shift. Yes, yes. That's the, that's the thing. I thought it was very appropriate that, that they were the ones that got the first kill of the first mythic boss because nobody else had been in yet. Mushroom. No, nothing. Maybe I gotta buy them. Or maybe I gotta farm them. Maybe they are... Maybe they are... Soulbound after all? Or maybe just nobody's bothered to post them. Liquid just killed Skolex. Oh, sick. That's awesome. Did another two at ten now. Conduit grinding PTSD cover. I was thinking more, so I don't really need the nest, eh? I just need questionable mushrooms. I kind of thought I would get it on like my first mushroom, and the fact that I've now looted two of them and haven't gotten anything yet has me vaguely concerned. I really thought this was going to be just like a prelude to the stream, <laughs> the prologue, so to speak. 23 people with four set. Oh, that's, that's pretty good. That's quite fast. Like I know that they've been paying big, big dollar or, you know, gold. Big, big wow gold for, um, for people that can trade and stuff. Mm. I really don't like the stomper robot dude. I did too many mistakes on him in LFR. If you're slow, puts up a wall that kills you. Very rude. Yep. Yep. I died to that wall too. I died to that wall on, uh, on normal the other day. It was Zelnathop. Should I kill Zelnathop just for a chance at a pet? <laughs> Cause there's like nobody, I'm assuming there's nobody out here anymore. Um... I have the Zelnathot pet already, but I bet I could sell it if it dropped for me. And I am trying- I'm not really feeling the gold grinding burn anymore. I feel like that was an end of patch phase for me, and now that I have current patch stuff to work on, I'm like less enthused about it. But I am feeling the, the burn of what if I um, <laughs> tried to recover my losses at least for buying rank 7 legendaries? Because I bought my rank 7 legendary, neck, and then I was like, cool. I'm done. Part of the way I justified myself dropping 250k on the first day is because I wanted it before raid and I just wanted to be done with it. I wanted to not have to think about it again. I wanted to feel like I was finished on my main, right? But then it occurred to me that I'm gonna need, unless I want to just wear the belt forever, I'm gonna need another one to craft the memory of unity onto because even if belt is a fine slot for me to wear the unity legendary on, it still doesn't go any higher than item level 265, whereas if you make it yourself and you like upgrade it, it's gonna be 291. So I'm gonna wanna do it for the item level. And that means that I'm gonna need to buy another one. I don't even know what slot yet, I'll have to look that up, but a slightly later me problem, but it means that I'm not done buying rank seven legendaries, which means that I am not averse to making some easy gold, as long as it does not interfere with my other goals. Yeah. Hello? Hello! Mm. Bunch of disconnects. A few wipes just because of that. Oh, that is weird. I did want gold sinks? I suppose so. I wanted fun gold sinks. I don't know if anybody's inspecting my character and going, holy, she's got a rank 7 legendary, you know? But like if I was if I was riding around in a, a golden plated hermit crab that went walking speed, somebody would be impressed by that. <laughs> Although I am I am getting my, my flexing in pretty well just by being on my my early protoform synthesis mounts because a lot of people haven't seen that snails are like the raptora yet so it's fun running around just feeling all special and stuff <sighs> there's a few i see in lightbringer and corthia still don't know why they're always calling consumption or protector mm -hmm. uh do you have the 291 yeah i did it on my priest so i'm wearing it i'm not wearing it right now but it's in my my healing set has it. I've got the 291 flash concentration neck. Um, I swap at the legendary for shadow questing. Also, I did not get any. Ooh, I got some. Oh yeah, relic fragments. Oh boy. <laughs> wow. I did not get the pet. Bummer. Uh, the recipe for the snail mount came from the first boss room of the raid. Um, first boss room of the raid. I had already cleared the raid last week, so I had a cleared lockout, which meant that I could. Well, I didn't clear the raid, but we cleared past that part which meant that I could zone in and just kind of run in and get it. One thing that I'm curious to find out tonight is, um, so I went to do it with another player and they looted it, right? 
and then it was gone for me. But then when we exited and we reset and came back in, it was back. So I'm wondering if it's like a respawn time, if it was just bugged, or if it's like literally one per reset and that if I, like an entire raid wants to get one in one lockout, if they're all going to have to like come in separately and keep resetting the raid um, to like, you know, obviously after your progress and everything, but so that everybody can loot the serenade pattern. He had to reset to get his. Okay, yeah, that's that's consistent then. That's a little unnerving. I mean, it's fine for me because I have mine, but <laughs> sucks if you have like 20 people in a raid group that all want to get it at once. It would be a big kerfuffle. It would be a big, a big dust up for everybody to get it. Oh, excuse me. My vault today made me sad. I got a Biss trinket, but it was 272 and a few hours ago I got it from Plague Falls, 262, which I could have just upgraded. Yeah, I mean, it's, at least you're up a Biss trinket. That's nice. Heartbreaker dropped for me a couple weeks ago, and Time Reaper dropped last night as well. Oh, nice! Congrats! Still need the pet from Zelnathop. I ended up buying mine, I think. He never dropped it for me, but I was I just kept an eye on the auction house, and then I eventually... I decided that I hated going into the cave so much <laughs> that I would just pay for it. So I bought mine with gold, I'm pretty sure. I would like to loot a mushroom. And then I can tell you guys about my second, my second goal for the day, although the longer I spend doing this, the less likely it becomes. Had an issue with the Scarlet Helicid pattern not showing in my realm. Had a friend invite me to his, there it was. I had that issue with, um, I had that issue with, eh, it wasn't a realm hopping thing, but I was having trouble looting a Terachnid pattern from the floor of the vault in the desert area that's like originally blocked by stones, but then when you do the campaign quest, you clear away the stones. There is a pattern on, just on the floor, like right in the middle on there. It's not hidden at all, but it wasn't up when I went to go loot it the first time. And I, I, like a day later, I came back. I came back, and it was there. But for whatever reason, it just wasn't. I don't know if it's a respawn time thing or what, but it was not there. <sighs> the snail does not fly, unfortunately. I am ninety eleven percent sure that it doesn't fly. Red serenade all over. My GM said that is not the right speed for a snail. When I first got it, my first thought was this thing is going way too fast. Oh, that's a mossborn cache. Mm, I mean, I'll still loot it, but what I want is um. What I want is mushrooms. Was that a mushroom? Perhaps. Perhaps. This isn't as fun as looting treasures is in Zareth Mortis, but I think I'm actually coming close to the point in my life where I think I'm going to reach a point where I don't really need Zareth Mortis treasures anymore, and I think it's going to be before I get flying. Uh, so there's a mushroom. This could have it. Because flying is next week. I am quite sure. Flying is next week because we need a means to an end, which is the next available chapter, so flying is next week. But what I mostly needed the treasures for was ciphers, and what I mostly needed ciphers for was to fill out the cipher page, you know, get get um, cipher rank 6 so that all of the cipher gear that I'm getting from world quests and dailies is like super sick, and then maybe like buy the toy and the pet and whatever from the vendor. That was what I wanted. I'm getting kind of close. Did I get them? Do I not have... I was getting kind of close. Squished mushroom, crushed mushrooms, mushroom cap. They're taunting me. I was getting kind of close to having enough ciphers for that. I have been chunking them in ever since I bought that 50% extra ciphers, ciphers thing. And then ever since I got, um, like I started just doing treasure laps. I, and then of course running around with two charges of Dwarf Shadows. Plus um, I have my little bracer hop now too, which is nice. Ever since I started doing that, I've just been getting, you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of ciphers a day, and I've just been chunking through the thing, and I'm only like a couple hundred away from getting cipher rank six. So I want to get it to cipher rank six. I want to buy every trade on the table because that's what unlocks that extra servid um, pattern. The servid pattern unlocks. Oh, a mushroom! I have a chance. The servid pattern unlocks when you have researched every trade off of the board. So I want to keep doing. I want to do all of them for that, and then. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's over here. I can use my I can use my bracers. <laughs> um, anything? Evolving mushroom? I think I need a questionable mushroom. Questionable mushroom. All right. Hmm. <laughs> Thoughts in the jailer cinematic. I mean, it was fine. I watched all of the new cinematics on stream yesterday, so I'm gonna chop those up and put them on YouTube and then people can be disappointed by the fact that I had no opinions. 
Uh, they were fine. It was it was a cinematic. I liked the intro. Oh, another mushroom. Uh, the outro seemed fine. I was never very invested in the Jailer in the first place, and I don't know if that's his fault. I think it's my fault. I'm pretty sure it's my fault. But I don't feel sad about it. It's just, it's fine. <laughs> Next expansion, we'll go somewhere else and we'll do something else. And I probably won't watch cutscenes then either. That's just who I am. I mean, I guess I watch these ones, but I'm too out of the loop. Video game story has always felt so... Video game story has always felt kind of unnatural to me sometimes. Like characters, like even in the end cinematic, the one where you've got like them monologuing at the, at the little soul shard. Um, it just feels so silly that like, um, I guess I can just walk. <laughs> it feels so silly that they're all like standing there talking about their feelings. People don't talk about their feelings unless they have paid a therapist a lot of money to bully it out of them. Um, certainly not people like Sylvanas or Jane or, you know, I don't know. It just, it just feels unnatural to me. And I wish there were other ways to get the point across that felt more realistic, but video games aren't about realism. And sometimes to hit those emotional story beats, they have to just, you know, say what they feel just because they feel like saying it, I suppose. Um, so, I don't know. <sighs> that's not a problem unique to WoW, though. That's, that's very much a game story thing in general. Hmm. Hmm. Lots of people talk about their feelings without a paid professional. Nobody that I know. <laughs> I guess there's other people that live in less emotionally closed off societies, but I, I, um, I engage in, in, uh, surface level, <laughs> surface level discussion of, of emotions at best with friends and family. Uh, I want to go up. I want to go up. What is it? It's a nest. I mean, I'll loot it, but it's not a mushroom. I need mushrooms. I had pungent mushroom residue from the last one. What do you think we'll get 925? June-ish? I think June feels early. I think June feels early for it. If they're not announcing the next expansion until April. I mean, maybe, but let's say they announce in April. And then let's say it takes them a month to get out beta. So they get out beta in like May, eh, two months. Let's say they get out beta in June. And then let's say they do a solid, solid six month beta and they somehow launch before Christmas. Because I'm sure that if they could, they would love to launch quarter four 2022 because that's a great time to launch games just fiscally. Um, people people buy them for Christmas. People people have time off to play. Uh, they would much rather launch in December than January or February or March, honestly. Um, so if they could, they would. But I don't know if they can. Maybe. Maybe they can. <laughs> maybe they'll prove me wrong. Um, if that was the case, then yeah. June. Maybe July. Wouldn't be, wouldn't be the worst thing. I guess they don't need to do... It's not like a major content patch. It's just adding in... What's the big thing? Cross-faction. That's the big thing. We're already going to be able to fly. They don't need to patch that in. <sighs> mm. We don't always want them to. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, are you telling me you talk more about your feelings with chat than you do with friends and family? Oh, absolutely. Um, because, and I guess that might be weird for my friends and family if they like watch my stream and they're like, wait, she's never told me that before. But it's, it's kind of the, the stranger on a bus stop syndrome where it's easier to feel like you can share things because I know this is the opposite of anonymous, you know, <laughs> I have an internet handle under the stream somewhere. You, people know where to find me, but something about, about filling two hours every day by talking about stuff just kind of naturally engenders me to talk about myself and, you know, how I feel about things and what sorts of things I work on or go through or whatever. And it ends up being a little more candid and vulnerable than I get with like, I don't know, my mother over tea. Uh, Bofork, thank you for the brand new sub. Welcome to the Squirrel Squad. No chance they launch this year, that is Hopium. But I'm the queen of Hopium. <laughs> I am the, the, the Hopium merchant. Uh, a shill, if you will. Don't see the, any chance of them launching it this year, early spring of next year. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. I Apparently, it's going to take that long for me to get <laughs> a questionable mushroom. Actually, I had a question. Okay, they are bop. That answers my question. Um, they are bop. There's no point in me tagging rares. It's, I mean, there's anima. I spent some anima today, actually, just to get some transmog, because 
now that my I got my A bomb factory to rank five, thank you very much. And I crafted my bone zone flesh rock because I had the mats to do it, and I thought, yep, let's get that out of the way. Here, let me show you. New mount. Bone sewn flesh rock. This one, you just have to have a rank five A bomb factory. Excuse me. Um, just a rank five A bomb factory and then a bunch of mats, you know, just like normal stuff, nothing crazy. Excuse me. Uh, it's like a recolor of the Geiger mount, and then I feel like there's another way to get it as well, but I don't remember. I think they're cool. Um, am I still in combat? There we go. Perfect. So, that's brand new as of today. Happy with that. Um, and it means that I'm not saving up that much anima anymore for mounts, for mounts. There, I'll need like a little bit of anima, I think, to do a couple more Necrolord things in the A-Bomb Factory to like get the rest of the achievements, maybe. But for the most part, my anima is free and clear to be spent on transmog now because I've pretty much met all of my mount obligations. Also, if there's like a specific route for getting mushrooms, I do not know what it is. Oh, I should go to the South Island, actually. Sometimes there's some spawns down there. Um, I'm item level 248 in my shadow set, and I think 255-ish. Somewhere in the 255 range in my holy set. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, gold making tips, now that you can't boost anymore. Right now, the easy thing uh, that I've been... Well, it depends on how much gold you need. <laughs> but I, um, you can make gold pretty easily just from like callings and your weeklies and stuff. You're going to get pretty big chunks of gold from that. I've been making gold lately by selling Progenitor Essentia, and I've been getting Progenitor Essentia by looting treasures in Xerath Mortis while having the Genocide Jiro buff that you can get. You need to do some Cypher research table stuff, but every time I get one of those, it's 20k. I sold one for 30k this morning. Um, I'm up probably 100k or so just from... Oh, that was scary. I'm up about 100k or so just from selling Progenitor Essentia that I loot from treasures that I just kind of pick up. Um, while I'm out in Xerath Mortis, it is extremely helpful to have some kind of Door of Shadows or, you know, preferably a lot of Door of Shadows if you're going to go looking for that. And then you want to have the pink buff from the Jiro that you can get. You need to have some Cypher research done. But that's how I've been making gold. And there's probably easier ways. Mage Tower's coming out soon, so i um, selling old materials from old expansions. Uh, Zin and Thid, Potions of Unbridled Fury, Borellus Blood Sausage, um, that kind of thing. Kultiran scrolls from Kultiran or Zandalari inscription are another option. So that's going to be in April or so that people are going to be looking for those for time walking. I wouldn't really get into legendary crafting now um, because it's it's a bit late to be trying to win and it needs like a lot of investment. But there's, there's stuff to be done. I've just been selling progenitor essentia. Okay, so I'm going to grab the nest. I want mushrooms. I swear there's some up here. There was one that like spawns just like on the ground. There's people in Corthia? I'm surprised to see other people in Corthia. I'm in Corthia because I want to get a questionable mushroom or two, but I want questionable mush questionable mushrooms so that I can go um so that I can go to Zareth Mortis and get and get a Maw Touch Geomental. You need the mushroom buff to see the Geomental. And now, as, like, I, I vendored a million of these things during the patch, but now that I need some, I don't have any anymore. <laughs> Avon Factory 5, you can build Unity. And join the Unity Discord to get individual pieces of the Unity set from completing random Aldraxis world quests while Unity is with you. Oh, that's what that's for. I didn't make that thing because I needed my mats. Um, I am at a significant deficit of <laughs> malleable flesh. I have malleable flesh problems. I, I have, I am deficient in malleable flesh. But I was wondering what that was for. I do want that transmog set. So I should look into that at some point. <sighs> Alt tab didn't hurt A-Bomb Factory, but for a second thought, uh, <laughs> A-Bomb Factory. Oh dear. Um, Conthrazi, yeah. Oh, there's somebody else in Serenade. I, that is Serenade, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I guess I'll just go back to the main island. Some people choose to be in Corthia. Oh! oh! Apparently I don't. Fresh mushrooms, yeah. I'm having a real, real hard time getting the questionable ones. You can only loot so many shrooms per day. I think you can loot... Uh, yeah, I guess that might be true. I should have one more mushroom left, actually. That's a good point. I have one more mushroom left according to my weak aura. 
I guess if I don't get it, then I guess I just can't get this today. I wonder if I'm like terribly unlucky or what the deal is with that. I don't remember those being rare, but also I never particularly looked for them before. So who's to say? Hm. Got a world boss drop. I'm riding the high. I'm excited for raid this week. I want to see what kind of loot we get. Five per day for research, but more for loot, I guess. Yeah, I was kind of wondering that. I would assume. I mean, I guess I'll loot another one. And then if I don't get it, I'll look for more and see if I can A, find any, and B, if they give me stuff. What if they have an even better chance? Is that a mushroom? No, it's a nest. Oh. Um, what if they have an even better chance to give me the stuff? Hmm. Is Corthia still useful? Hmm, depends on what you want. Um, if you want anima, kind of. But honestly, anima is much better from Xerath Mortis Treasures. I get... I get gross amounts of anima every day for for doing for doing Xerath Mortis treasures. Uh... What do you mean no path available? <laughs> I thought being a Venthyr was uh, a free ticket to basically cheat. Uh... Oh, you know what you don't need path available for is the, um, I just use my Cypher Bracers. It's awesome. Great distance in outdoor Shadowland zone. So it does count. You can use your, you can use your Xerath Mortis Cypher stuff in the Maw. Apparently. <sighs> uh, you know that they have fixed spawn points? Yeah, but it's not like they're marked on my map or anything like that. Are they? No, they're not. Um, and I never really needed to farm them this badly before, and I haven't memorized all of the mushroom spot points, and I don't really want to go install TomTom Tom and Google coordinates when I can just run around like a chicken. Useful for new players? True, yeah, you want to come get the shard hide whistle if you don't have that. Speaking of which, I should use my shard hide whistle. <sighs> I feel like there's usually a bunch kind of through here in these brambly thingies. And then, like, to the south when you curve around. Let me just, like, go up this way. See if I can find anything. Mm. <laughs> Great distance, yeah. It gets longer with Cypher research. However, I am Cypher level 5, and that's about as far as mine gets. I kind of thought it was going to be like a, like a wormhole or something. Like a, a flight whistle or something like that. It was a little disappointing. <sighs> but... It is nice to have in addition to Door of Shadows. I have two Door of Shadows charges, plus I can reset one of them with my first sigil trinket, plus I can boost with my bracers, and it means that I've never really found a treasure in Xerath Mortis lately that I can't get to without much drama. <sighs> Glad they made the whistle usable, as well as Borgas toy. I feel like they were always usable. I don't think that was patched. Like the text on them just says that they work in Shadowland zones. Unless that was changed at some point, it might have been. But it's nice. I used Borges toy once, but then I was I was all expecting to fling myself up and then like go forward and I didn't use a glider or anything like that, so I just fell straight back down. It was very embarrassing. Why do it quickly? I don't think it would be quicker for me to install TomTom Tom and like tab out and copy paste coordinates to go check spawn points that might not even have things up. At least if they're on my map when I run by them, they'll be marked with a treasure marker. <sighs> do shards only work in Torghast and the Maw now? Oh, domination shards? They probably- do they still work in Sanctum? I don't know. I trashed mine as quickly as I possibly could. I didn't care if they even worked anymore. I just wanted a good excuse to get rid of them. Mm, I did not maintain any for like a Torghast set or anything like that. I figured item level will eventually do me better. Hmm. Only have the Borgath toy and apparently Darkmoon Racing is Borg, so no cannon for a while. Uh, that kind of sucks. I'd heard something about it being broken, but that was like a long time ago. I would have hoped they would have fixed it by now. <sighs> Borgath toy with the Dark Moon cannon or the bracers that have the teleport. Okay. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Yeah. I just caved and joined Team Venthyr. Oh, is it a mushroom? No, it's a nest. I just caved and joined the Venthyr. I, I do enough damage in my Venthyr spec to get around while questing. And then I, I can always change my covenant back for keys or for raid, which is what I end up doing. I do need practice in Night Fae. I need to practice healing in Night Fae, but the thing is I'm only Night Fae for raid healing, and I don't know if I feel like going to do LFR. I'm very scared. I am extremely scared of, um, whatchamacallit, of, uh, 
sepulchral afar. It sounds hard. <sighs> the other thing that you want to do, these do need time. Yeah, I guess so. The other thing that I wanted to do, honestly, <laughs> was, um, was get my rank six ciphers. I wanted to just go loot treasures, show you guys the loop, show you how I get all these ciphers and get enough ciphers to get my cipher research to rank six. Um, I can go pop by here. I am in, I am in Vanfir and I want to make sure I'm in the right soul bind because we run around in Theotar because we want, uh, we run around in Theotar because where is it? He gets a double charge of door shadows. Life of the party? No. Leisurely gate. Yeah, we run around in Theotar for this thing. <laughs> Because of the a double charge of door shadows, it's nice for Zareth Mortis. But I don't. I only need like I think a couple hundred more ciphers. I've already done my dailies for the day, but with a couple hundred more ciphers, I can get myself to rank six, and then like all of the stuff I find, all the gear I get from dailies and stuff, it's gonna be so sick. I already got a two forty nine neck piece, just that I can wear as my off spec neck. I'm really happy about that. So let's get my poke poke out. Let's get him to. Um, look for noteworthy objects. I'm also going to ask him to, uh, aggressive routines. Sure, yeah, just in case we get into combat, he can have his little sword out. I'm gonna get myself five buffs at a charge of only two energy each, so let's just grab these. We're doing treasure hunting, so speed would be excellent. That's very lucky. I can get five of these. I will take, um, Versa. Sure, yeah. Uh, I'm kind of looking for survivability and speed for the most part, so I will take the little cheat deathy thing. Um, damage reflection sounds good. I also can stand buff myself. There we go. And leech, leech, leech or haze. We'll take leech. So we use all these. Uh, unfortunately, there is no, <laughs> there's no cipher buff that makes you instant cast them. So you got to sit here and cast them all. But we'll do that. And then we need to go get some Jiro buffs. And also I want to go look in at the board just to see how much more research I need. Cause I'm currently sitting on 10 ciphers of the first ones. I track it on my backpack. Park and Alton Corthia. Um, the mushrooms are BOP, so unless I wanted to then bring that alt out to Zareth Mortis, which is questionable because I haven't unlocked it and it is skippable, but I kind of want to play the campaign again on my druid, which is the primary alt for that. Um, and the other ones would get smoked by random Corthia wildlife, so I think I'm just going to use my priest. I think it's easier. Uh, yeah, I know I should do Ember Corp before Tuesday. I don't think I care that much though. I think I just need to do it twice more because I almost have the Countess to rank six. Like one more is for sure gonna get her there. And then I, I'm gonna have to do two more Ember Corps no matter what. It's not gonna really matter. Um, I, I think I'm gonna fall short of the, I think I'm gonna fall short of the rep I need to buy the pet I want. And I'm just gonna worry about that later. Um, I'm not gonna stress about it right now. So look at me, I am five of six cipher equipment level and I only need to spend 175 more ciphers to be rank six. Um, look at all this stuff I got. I have been treasure hunting. So my Poke Poke uh, trucks, which is awesome, gets energy back every three minutes. It's got 16 maximum energy. Um, so I just need, I just need another 175 ciphers basically, 165, cause I've got 10 on me. So I'm just gonna go run around, get some treasures, yeah. You have to cast them as clicking them, thinking they automatically applied. They have a little cast bar, which is kind of annoying. You, they, yeah, but they do go to your bags. <laughs> they do go to your bags, which is nice because especially if your buff time is shorter, mine lasts for an hour now, but especially early on when your buff time is shorter, it takes, um, like maybe you want to get out to where you're going to do your quest before you do them. And then, uh, so what did you find, bud? If it's a Corliss, we run by it. Is it a Corliss? It's a Corliss. Okay. So there, now what I want to do is I have my, I have all of my orb buffs. I now need to go get my Jiro buff. So I don't really worry about the run speed one, which is Createe. So I run right by that Jiro right there. But I do want to get the Genocide buff and the Naskai buff. I don't know how to say them. Ooh, but first, well, no, there's a buff right up here. There's a Genocide buff that spawns on a dude right up here. And so I will backpedal for that avian nest. I'm going to go back for it. So we run up the hill. And then we go, whoop. and you do need to do research to like unlock these guys and stuff, but I get that. And now I'm gonna get a little pink buff. It's gonna last 15 minutes. And now I have a chance to get Progenitor Essentia. 
It says increased chance, but I've never looted a progenitor essential without that buff on me. So that's really nice to have. And I want to make sure I always have that up when I'm treasure hunting. So now I'm backpedaling for the avian nest. I swear it was over here somewhere. I haven't yet. I'm not at peak treasure where I've like completely memorized them because when the icon despawns on your map, the, the treasure stays up for a minute or two. Like you do have time to get it. Is it up on the tall one? I think it's up on the really tall one. You do have time to get it. Um, let me clip the corner. Huh? Oh, no, I fell. Um... Well, let's get up here and see what we're looking at anyways. It may have actually despawned. No, it's over there. Okay. So, what I can do... I always... I mean, I always loot all the treasures, but I extra loot. Mm, let's Borgeth this. Let's Borgeth plus a glider, maybe. So if we do this, and then we can glider. And then uh, I don't have a cancel glider. No! <laughs> I waited too long. I waited too long. My 20 gold. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, well, that's fine. There's a forgotten treasure vault over here. If you hover over the buff, it says treasures instead of treasures. That is true. It is missing an S. I didn't catch that one. That is unlucky. I was so close, too. I was so close. I almost had it. Ah, oh, dear. Uh, so now we're going up. This one's nice and easy. So I'm going to use my trinket to get an extra charge of my door of shadows and just pop one up. Grab that. But yeah, I got... So for looting a treasure, I just got seven ciphers, two of the blue anima items, and then I didn't really care about the flux. I'm sure I'll get that eventually. But I want to keep an eye out for puzzle chests. Those give a couple. They are worth stopping for if you find them. My Poke Poke is supposed to tell me where they are, but sometimes he does not do so. <laughs> Heartbreaking. It's okay. So I'm out here trying to get 175 ciphers. I've got 17 on me, and we've only looted the one chest so far. So I should have gotten the nest first. I should have gotten the nest first. I figured I had time to go get the buff and then come back. Um, there's another one over here. I haven't really started my loop yet, but I also dangerously do not yet have my immunity buff. Oh, I see it. Okay. Uh, or not my immunity buff, my stealthy buff. You get the Naskai buff and you can get two stacks of it. I'll show you that. You can get two stacks of it and it reduces your aggro radius detection by like a lot, like eight yards, I think. So it lets you just kind of thread between mobs which is super useful if you just want to run around and do the treasure loot. You don't have to um, like clear everything, especially in the elite area, because that's where all the good treasures are. That's why where all the treasure spawns, or many treasure spawns are. So that was another seven ciphers. Um, they're in that this, this northern area here. So I'm going to head over there, but I don't want to do it without my stacks. So we're going to stop by Ajiro first, which I usually come in, I think, kind of on the other side. You can make mounts at the Mount Synthesis Forge after you have unlocked it. You need to get the Supranian Understanding Trait researched in your Cypher Tree, and then it'll set you off on a quest line that will unlock and show you, walk you through the, the forge. How do you feel about how strong Covenant switching is for this? I feel way better about it, given that they pulled the Ripcord. If this, um, if this was still a world where I would have had to, like, quest to get back to my Raiding Covenant, I probably would have given... I wouldn't be doing it, and then I would have just waited two more weeks for flying. But it's so fun running around here with Door of Shadows that I actually really like that it's not a big deal for me to swap because um, it means that... I need to get that buff. I like that it's not a big deal for me to swap because it means that I can actually, you know, <laughs> be Venth here for a little bit, get to use my mind games and then get all my treasures and then I can swap back for Raid with no problems or no issues. It's nice. Do, 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 do. Um, I have very little patience for any complaining at all about having to switch covenants too much because for all of shadowlands all anybody complained about was that they wanted to switch covenants <laughs> and now that we can switch covenants uh i am going to enjoy it and be happy <laughs> i don't want to hear it uh started to avoid treasures that have mobs around them it's gonna be it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be good. I just gotta go stop by the Jiro. I'm just getting distracted. I am unable to walk by a treasure without trying to get it. Um, I just like them too much, so it takes sometimes a long time for me to get to where I'm going. There's a 
There's a stealth Jiro. There's one over here, actually. Um, but I think I, I think there's another one if I just went on my route, but I don't remember. I haven't fully giga memorized where all of them are, but I know that there's one kind of along the path over here somewhere. Um, is it right here? Where are you at, buddy? I forget. It was not far from here. You are looking for stuff, right? Yeah, good. Okay. Uh... He's supposed to mark them on my map now. I got a thingy. Oh, yeah, here we go. So this guy. This is the Jiro Naskai, which is the stealthy one. And the trick with this guy, he's going to give you the teal buff, the light blue one. The trick with him is you want to get it twice. You can stack that up twice. You have to spend the energy twice, but you get two stacks of that and it doubles the range. Um, it doubles the range. It says in the tooltip that it can stack, but I never would have noticed that if it hadn't been pointed out to me. And now, now I can sneak. So now what I'm going to do is I'm basically just going to run a lap around the outside of here um, and see if I can find any treasures along the way. It is a different forge. The Mount Forge is a physically different location than the Pet Forge. Um, the Mount Forge is like up here, um, kind of behind the Garudion area. Time Tack had a six month reset. Thank you very, very much. Also, I missed a matron with her 26 month reset. Thank you so much. Oh, an avian nest. I could have a poultry lattice. The best thing about Xerath Mortis is leaping off of cliffs as a priest and floating down as all the mobs you pulled watch you fall to safety. I've, um, it's really invigorated my love of the gliders, honestly. I didn't, well, okay, it's given me a brand new love of gliders. I didn't really like gliders much before because I figured I was cheap. I didn't want to bother getting the attachment for my cloak, which I still haven't done. And I was like, I have levitate, but levitate's not as good as glider. Glider can go, levitate just falls. Uh, so I looted that nest and then we're, we're off and away. <sighs> I made the snail mount yesterday. Jiro Nascar. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, Grudion. I've already killed him today. I think I could kill him again for maybe like a lattice chance or something like that, but he's only at half health. Yeah, well, yeah. I want to know what I get for killing him a second time. I want to know what the what the loot looks like. So I'm going to kill him for science, just for my own knowledge. And also it's a good excuse for me to use that trinket, get a little verse buff, and refresh a stack of door shadows for later. All right. What did I get? Oh yeah, I got two anima motes. I got uh, six ciphers, so you do get ciphers on repeat kills. You don't get rep the second time, but maybe that's the only thing that you don't get twice. Everything else it looks like is okay. So no harm in fighting rares again. Okie dokie. So I wanna, I wanna sneak, thread my way through the mobs, because they shouldn't see me unless I like trip on them now. Considering farming a glider engineering enchant, do you know how easy it is? No, I haven't done it yet. People tell me it's easy, and sometimes when they say that, it's true, and then sometimes they just know I'm lazy and I won't do it unless they tell me that it's easy. <laughs> it's a mop enchant- it's a mop engineering thing, I'm pretty sure. Oh, we found a treasure. What's that? Coralist? Leave it alone. <laughs> I wish that there was a menu where I could go in and tell my poke a poke to leave some things alone. Okay, so there's another treasure, another seven ciphers. We're up to 51. We're gonna thread around the back here what we would really love to find in this area. And one of the reasons that I like farming treasures back here is because moss worn caches have a chance to contain a mount. And I want that. So, not the domination cache, because I don't got a key for that. But moss worn chests, and there's like spawn points for them up here. So, checking, checking, checking. What? But I mostly just do a, do a big old lap. You're not a rare, are you? Oh, you are a rare. Oh, okay. I don't think I've killed this rare before. Rare is not available on Sundays. Alright, fine. It is easy, Hazel. I promise. Uh, I believe you need to level your mop engineering. And people will go, but it's cheap. And I'm not convinced that those people have looked at the ore prices. <laughs> I don't think those people have looked lately. I'm sure it was cheap once upon a time, but I don't know if it's cheap anymore. On hell I bronze ingot. Have not heard of it. Have not heard of it. My first step would probably be to look it up on Wowhead. Which Poke Poke Transmog do you prefer? I like having him wear his chef hat. <laughs> I also incidentally like having Cordy wear a chef hat whenever possible. Oh, I got 16 rep from that. Also, oh no, that's still the domination cache. Never mind. Never mind. So I got six minutes left on my pink buff. There's a Jiro around. There's a Jiro that can refresh the pink buff. Uh, it might be up. I might be coming up on it, actually. There's a second one. Because usually I run on these faster. 
creatine. That's the movement speed one. I don't worry about that one. I like genocide and NASCAR. <laughs> uh, I said chef hat, as in the thing you would put on the head of a culinary master if they if they wanted it. There's something over here. Is this a Corliss? But yeah, it would be nice if you could toggle which things you want your Pokepoke Poke to look out for you. Oh okay, yeah, here we go. Here's the genocide. So if you could take me from five minutes back up to 15, that would be wonderful. And then I'm going to kind of run around through here. I'm a little fuzzier on this part of the route. Also, I know sometimes we go pop on up to the North Island that the world boss is on and just kind of do a lap around it. So I might do that. See if I find anything good. Because <sighs> I have, uh, I've got time on my buffs. I do have time on my buffs. Next, yeah, next week it's going to be easy with flying, but I think by the time I get flying, I might not need it anymore. I had too much fun running around with uh, with Dora Shadows. It's been so satisfying to just slam out the research this week, even though, like, I, w I told myself for a while I was going to wait. I was going to wait. This will be so much easier when you can fly. I think I may reach a point pretty early where I don't need to do very much Xerath Mortis on my main. So it's a question of do I feel like farming stuff for protoform synthesis? Or do I feel like working on another character or like just running keys, you know? Um, I may actually get my druid sorted out sooner rather than later uh, because I have time, because they have not made Xerath Mortis crazy time intensive, especially because it's not like my druid really needs to do ciphers at all. Uh, my druid can just come out here and do rep. And even that, even that I'm not convinced of. What does my druid need? Conduits? Oh yeah, I need rep for conduit upgrades. That's right. I need to get... My druid reputation for conduits. So this thing, I'm doing the lab just to see if there's treasures because I've heard that sometimes there can be. Uh, MGFE with an 11 month reset. <laughs> snail mount, snail mount, snail mount, snail mount. <laughs> a lot of snail mount. Jetpack would be great. Please let it drop randomly from a mob on Mechagon. Oh, speaking of, um, well, I don't know why that reminded me of it, but I got a toy today. I looted it from like a rare or something. It was a, uh, or a treasure chest or something. I don't know. Look, landmines. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Boom. See? Fun. <laughs> landmines. That's my new thing. It's, what is that called? Malcaris's Satchel of Mines. I fully intend to use that in Raid tonight. Mm. I'm glad Xerath Mortis is simple. I've fallen in love with my Mistweaver that I'm leveling. It feels to me like if you want to collect stuff, there's a lot of depth you can get into with rares and treasures and farming materials to craft the various things. But if you just want to get a character off the ground and raid and you don't really want to do the zone, you don't really have to do much. You can keep up with like your weekly, you can do your weekly in a day and then be done <laughs> for the day, you know, be done for the week. You know, you can, you can just do dailies. The dailies I find are a lot faster than, or pardon me, the world quests are faster than the dailies and they don't take terribly long to do just all of them in general. And you don't need a ton, so I think I might set up a character. We'll see. Depends on what, what sounds fun. I do not stream raids, no. Added hardly any toys. There is a few. There's some. It's not a crazy amount, though. I do agree. Oh, there's a rare down there. What is that? That is Zatagin. Aggro. It's probably not up, though. It's probably just, like, spawned, but not aggroed, I would assume. Hmm. <laughs> Evil Oreo Cake, thank you for the eight month reset. Hmm. That being said, 6,900 of 1,200, 12K honored. Where am I at? I feel like that's around where I'm at. I'm at um, 8,391, so very close to that. <sighs> I am excited because once I get revered, the memory of unity becomes account wide. Maybe that's when I'll start to play my druid. Maybe not. Hmm. Uh, what's that other rare? Protector of the first ones. I should loot. I should do that. I like doing rares just in case they have like protoform synthesis stuff. Protector of the first ones requires two people. Never mind. Never mind. I'll, I shall be off and on my way. Looked at the contract today for the enlightened. 50k. No thanks. How far into honored are y'all? Hmm. I think that we should all get there sometime next week or maybe the week following. Uh, 8391. Yeah. I haven't gotten a crazy amount. Also, I have not been finding an awful lot of treasures. That's a coreless. Because hmm. I need 175. I've only got 57. I will achieve one of my goals for the day. I will either get my my Cypher 6 
or I will get that pet. I, I believe. <laughs> I refuse to give up. Maybe I'll run through. Sometimes I find that I can get some treasures if I run through like the center of the zone. But before I do that, I want to top up on my buffs. I want to find another one of the... Um... <laughs> There's no world that... Yeah, okay. Handy notes. Echo Jiro. Oh, yeah. Echo Jiro. Yeah. Because I want to I wanna pick up a... Yeah, perfect. Okay, I was that was exactly what I wanted. Is I was thinking, do I must have some add-on that lets me mark Echo Jiro on my map. And then I looked at my add-ons and then I had an add-on that would let me mark Echo Jiro on my map. That's awesome, because I just want to know where I can top up my buffs. I just like running around with these two. So let me grab one from down here, which I did not know was here, but now I know. Neat. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> I would like to uh, to get some more time on that. Mm, nice gastropod. Why, thank you. Uh, the hearth telly thing that gives multiple options. So I have a wormhole generator that is from engineering. And then I use an add-on called Toma Teleportation that like shows me all of the different ways that I can teleport. So the Toma Teleportation UI will not show if... I guess I don't have it enabled right now. But that will show you... You know, like your, your cloak teleport, any trinket teleports, any toy teleports. What's this one? Forgotten treasure. Perfect. Okay. Whereas um, wormhole generator requires Shadowlands Engineering 1, but I use it all... I dropped a different profession just to get engineering because of how much I needed it. Okay. And then uh, let's do... What? There we go. Get that done. Perfect. Okay check out the south side. I want the buzz mount just because of the description. Buzz is the next mount on my list. Actually, that's a third thing I could do on stream today is if I gave up or, you know, I could kind of do both at once because I'm sure treasures would spawn while I was while I was working on it. But if I gave up on doing, I don't know, <laughs> the other things I'm doing right now, and I farmed Genesis Motes. I think that a lack of Genesis Motes is the only thing that is currently standing between me and Buzz. I have the Lattice. I got a Vespoid Lattice to drop. I have the special item. And I have the pattern for Buzz. So I think all I need to do is farm Motes and then I can make a Vespoid. And I want one because they're cool. I see people with them all the time. Vote for not crafting horrible, horrible murder hornet. His name is Buzz. His name is Buzz. Uh, Stroll Peter, thank you for the brand new sub. Welcome to the Squirrel Squad. I had a semi-productive morning, if if I count if I count errands. I needed to go out. I've been trying to figure out logistics for a trip into town I need to do, and uh, getting around is a bit tricky because I've been borrowing, I've been borrowing my sister's car, but I want to stop doing that because um, she's going to have a baby really soon, and I really don't want her to begin having her baby <laughs> while I currently have her only vehicle. So, um, in, you know, until until baby's here, I am I am getting around to my own two feet and I need to get into town for some stuff. So uh, I, I, today I, I looked up where I could purchase uh, transit tickets and I have downloaded the schedule and stuff and I'm going to remind myself how to ride the bus because I haven't done it in years, but I used to get around, I used to get around on the bus all the time. Um, it, it wasn't really a problem before. Where am I going? I'm just gonna... I'm very... I'm very fast and loose with my Door of Shadows charges, even if I think I might need more. Or, like, maybe there was... Maybe I didn't need to Door of Shadows that, just because they come back so fast. But I went and looked up a place to get them. I picked up a, a sheet of those today. And I think tomorrow... If I do this thing tomorrow... It might be, like, an all-day thing, but I might try and go early and see if I can be done before stream. But if not, um, I will tweet or post in the Discord or something if I end up being late tomorrow because I just need to get this done. <sighs> and I don't want to, but I do need to. I need to go car shopping. And I found a car on a dealer website that I like the look of a lot and I need to go see it. And then if I like it, I need to buy it. But it means like, you know, you got to go to get your insurance and you got to go to the bank and you got to get your bank draft and you got to like you know, figure out all these sorts of stuff, and it's going to mean getting around town a bunch, which means bus tickets. <laughs> uh, unless they let me test drive the car. Do you think they'd let me test drive a car and then test drive it to the bank <laughs> to go get a bank draft? It's just down the road. Ooh, get a moped! I'm not getting a moped. Uh, around here, that car is already sold. 
Uh, it's still on the website. It's been there for a week or so. I should have jumped on it sooner, but um, stuff kept coming up. I'm not getting a motorcycle. I don't know if they have Carvana here. I'm not in the States anymore. Uh, Terachnid eggs. I need those. <laughs> Good luck. I hope I get it. I'm trying to look for backup plans so that if in the fairly likely situation that that car that I want has already sold, um, I, I want to have other ideas and things to look at so I'm not just like immediately heartbroken and given up. But uh, I, I don't know. I want that one. <laughs> We'll see. Buy a horse. <laughs> the operational costs are now cheaper. Yeah, I know. Well, actually, I, I, I don't think I could keep a horse in my apartment. Uh, these eggs are probably on the inside. I thought you mainly traveled by moose. Test driving going to a bank sounds like a plan to do a bank robbery. It kind of does, doesn't it? Mm. How much have you researched what to look for in used cars? I mean, all the normal things that they like to tell you about used cars, the make and the model and the year and the mileage or kilometerage, you know, the past owners and the, the history of it. Uh, I am looking, if I'm looking for a used car, I am looking for a certified pre-owned because I want some of that, um, I want some security from the dealer on it. So that's what I've been looking into myself. Um, and I'm, I'm probably not going to buy it off just like a dude in a back alley. I'm too, I'm too uh, naive for that. <laughs> I know it's a bad time to buy a car, but I need a car. <laughs> and I know, I know it's cheaper to, to fuel an electric car, but I don't have a place to charge an electric car. And sometimes you just got to do it. Uh, wouldn't be fine, bud. Is it a Corliss? Is there a Corliss up there? Is there a chest? Yeah, there's a Corliss over there. Oh, there's a Corliss and a chest. <gasps> it's been tricking me. There's a shrouded cipher cache. I thought my buddy was marking this Corliss Teractin, but he was not. Um, the one that I want is used. It is, it is not very used, but it is a used, it's not a brand new vehicle. <sighs> I don't like the brand new ones. <laughs> They're all big. They don't make itty bitty little cars anymore. At least not the same way that they used to. <sighs> Back allies are the best spots for transactions. Not to be negative, we just went through it. Yeah, I'm sure it's gonna, I'm sure it's gonna suck. I'm really not looking forward to it, but I gotta do it. Um, it's gotta, it's gotta be done. I've looked into my other options and I don't like them any better. <laughs> okay, how am I doing? I got time on my buffs. I could use another genocide buff, which um, is not green, it's not red, it's the other one. I'm gonna do the route backwards. Yeah, stick with public transit. I've looked into this, it will not work for me and my needs. I am going up here. Hmm. Uh, have you upgraded Pokepoke's offensive mode? Yeah! Ooh! Progenitor Essentia, I'm rich! Excellent! This is, this is, this is what, why we're out here. Well, that's partly why we're out here. I also want ciphers, but I, I get progenitor essentia. I sell it immediately. 29K, love to see it. I sold one this morning already. Uh, and then there's another moss run, oh, a moss run supply chest. That could contain a mount. Pot coin, so sick. Uh, this mount is a protoform synthesis mount. I crafted it. So I'm gonna sneak in, not that one, because that's the dominance cache, but this one, moss run supply chest. One mount, please. Hmm. That one I think is quite rare. I've seen people loot like 50, 70, 100 moss run caches and not see the mall rat mount. So I don't think that one's going to be like a soon thing. <sighs> uh, genocide, perfect. Yeah, because I only have two minutes left of my pink buff and we like the pink buff because that's what's letting us get that progenitor essentia. Managed to get the dominance key this morning. Oh, nice. Oh, what's this? Cypher bound. Nice, okay. What do you do with dominance keys? I opened one cache already, but I looted another key. You just give it a day and then loot it again, yeah? I think it's probably like the Sandworn where you can loot it once a day, I would assume. Do, 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 do. I have a fair amount of Cosmic Flux and I already upgraded my Legendary. I guess I can use it to craft here later. Um, I have 15.7k Cosmic Flux for something, <laughs> I don't know. Not as much as some people have, but more than I used to. Yeah, Progenitor Essentia price has been spiking. Um, potentially because people, Flabby was saying that people are starting to run out of their original stash because now that people can craft rank seven legendaries, which is mainly what those are for, um, people are starting to kind of run out of their original stash that they had saved up during the first couple weeks of the patch. And uh, and all of the, like just any, you know, demand is going up because everybody needs rank seven legendaries right now. Uh, what did you find, bud? Is it a treasure? Is it a Corliss? I feel like I'm going to be extra careful now whenever I think it's a just a Corliss to like look, you know, 
to extra look. That's a Corliss Geomental, but what if he snuck a treasure behind it, you know? Let's go through the south side. I feel like sometimes um, there's like a bunch of caches sort of around Pilgrim's Grace area. Just the one cache. Does it respawn? Oh, maybe not. Oh, it disappears? Oh, I've never looted it. I kind of thought it would work like the other one. Okay. You bring luck. Just looted a progenitor ascension myself. Nice. How many ciphers do I still need? Another 70 or so. Approximately 70. We're up like 100. I need to stop stepping on landmines, my poor snail. Pretty good aggro vision. It's because of the two stacks of this gift of the Nasai. Nasai. It's uh, eight yard reduced enemy detection, which is nice. Um, I refuse to run around without that if I can avoid it. There's another, no, that's Genesi up there. But usually I find when I go through this whole area, mm, I got 13 minutes left on my buff. I don't need to top up that one just yet. Gift of the NASCAR, yeah, pretty much, that's better. <sighs> you know Josh Keaton, he said on stream Sunday night that he watches your raid guides, oh neat. Um, pink buff, you get it from the Genocide Jiro. The Jiro are in all four corners of the map, and as you get... Oh, it's up there. As you get, um, Cypher Research, you can unlock access to them in the four corners, respectively. There's three different types of buffs. There's a speed buff from the Creati... The Creati... Uh, Creati... Creati? I don't know. Jiro, and I remember that one by thinking of creatine, which is a component in some energy drinks, and then thinking that it's going to make you go fast. Like, zoom, energy. And then the NASCAR buff is the <laughs> is the uh, reduced enemy detection, and then genocide helps you generate progenitor essentia. <sighs> what was the other thing I came up with in, with a stupid memory thing like that for? Oh, it was... Um... <laughs> So you know in in Mythic plus 10 keys and higher, right? You've got the encrypted buff. And that means you get those relics. You've got the Woe Relic, the Vi Relic, and the Ur Relic. And you, you now you kill them for different buffs. Depending on which one you kill first, you'll get like an ad from that cartel, and then you you um oh, I aggroed. You'll get an ad from that cartel and then you can uh you get your buff, right? But for a for a little bit at the beginning, <laughs> we were having a hard time remembering which Thing gave which? Is this just a Corliss? I'm sure it probably is. Yes, Corliss Yulis. Okay. Um, so the the movement speed buff that also has cooldown reduction as well as mana back makes you go really fast. And that's the whoa buff because you go really fast and you're like, whoa! The um or sorry, not mana back, just movement speed and, and reduced damage taken is the whoa buff. The healer buff that gives mana back as well as cooldown reduction is the er buff because er is the sound that your healer starts to make when they're low on mana they're like er excuse me er i need a drink unless you have a really you know aggressive healer in which case they might yell more loudly but um i usually default to the er noise and then the vi buff <laughs> i forget the i forget the thing i think my tank said why did we kill this one first because we always like the the mob ports around it's really annoying <laughs> i feel like we never um we always kill that mob at the end of the pack, and then we just like run around to the next pack with the buff when we don't need it. <sighs> creatine Jiro is probably swole as egg. Uh, is creatine not an en energy drink thing? I'm not a big energy drink person. I may be mixing it up with something else. Why is this mob so hasty? <laughs> what did I get? Oh, I got a gauntlet. Whenever there's like a like a scroll, like a click down, a tab down, a page down for more loot on a treasure. I always get really excited that it might be a progenitor essentia, but that one was not. And whoop, up we go. This one is just right over here. Whoop. Probably could have just jumped, but you know. How are we doing? We are up to 131, 131 ciphers. Pretty good. Also, I should take a short break. It's 413 already. I can get really carried away with looting treasures. I've been having a lot of fun with this this week. I will be right back. Sleepy kitty cat. Hello, I'm back. I have a thing I want to complain about for a second. I put up a hummingbird feeder. What feels like a week ago. I don't know if it was actually a week ago, but it feels like it was a really long time ago. And they haven't found it yet. <laughs> 
I googled what to do about it because I'm very impatient and I would like some birdies. And, uh, and the only thing that came up was plant orange and red tubular flowers, which, I don't know, it's March, it's cold out still. Or, uh, wait, <laughs> you know, just be patient. And, you know, I just want the birds to know that it's gonna be really great. <laughs> They should be really happy and excited, and they should get to my balcony immediately, <laughs> with alacrity. Uh, what do you get from doing the console? A bit behind the Zareth Mortis thing. So, the higher your research level gets, the better the cipher equipment that you loot will get, in terms of both item level and the power of its various effects. So if you want gear, and you, you, if you want gear, it's not a bad idea to work on ciphers, even if you're also planning on getting gear from Radiant Mythic Plus, just to help kind of fill in the gaps. And then if you're not planning on raiding your Mythic Plus or PvP, and you want gear, you should do cipher level, cipher just to get better gear from dailies and world quests and whatnot. You will also unlock the mount crafting system, as well as, you'll also unlock mount crafting and um, um, mount crafting, you'll unlock pet crafting. Oh no! I guess this might work actually. Can I, can I do it? Can I do it? Can I do it? Can I do it? No. No. Oh no. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> we'll figure this one out. Uh, what else do you get from doing ciphers? You get like combat buffs out in the world, so I have um, five pretty sizable buffs. Uh, no! <laughs> Not again! Not like this. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna do this with style. Huh. There we go. Oh, that scared me. I almost, I almost lost it. There we go. Have you tried bribing them with better food? But it's one part refined sugar to four parts water. And that's the only thing that I am supposed to feed hummingbirds. I understand that it is not good to feed them anything else. Uh, and besides, they never complained about it before. It's just that they haven't found the feeder yet. And supposedly sometimes it can just take a while. Um, and I don't really have a better place to put it, but they'll, they'll find it. They'll find it. Um, I think that Cypher Research could be a good way to gear up alts, especially because it, once you've done some unlocks on your main, you can get... Once you've done some unlocks in your main, you can get access to an item that gives you 50% more Cyphers looted. And that item is account bounce. You can buy an extra one in your main and just send it to your alts. And then, um, like, you can just send your alts, like, 226 anima gear just to get them, like, started. But if you want to get them, like, 250 or so in outdoor stuff, um, it wouldn't take a crazy amount of time, I don't think. It would, uh, they're not going to start at 250, but they, they can get treasures, they can get, um, they can get ciphers relatively quickly from treasures, and then also, you know, you're, you have a chance at Progenitor Essentia. If you're just, if you just want to farm gold, you can just do it on different alts, it doesn't really matter which character's running around looting treasures, you don't even have to fight stuff necessarily. I need to top up my Genocide buff, which is the blue, the blue buddies, so there should be a blue buddy right ahead of me over here. I love having them marked on handy notes. It is very nice. Hmm. Ancient beacon. I'm looking for Gajiro. Here he is. So that's gonna give me a top up of my pink buff. And then I can also get a top up of my red buff over here. And then just go look for more treasures. Because you get a pretty strong amount of gear, but yeah, getting the Cypher research level caught up would take a while. Um, the Handy Notes is helping me track the Jiro on my map. Handy Notes is what's giving me these little green, red, and blue dots on my map, which is kind of nice. I, you can have your Poke Poke mark them on your map as well, but he's not as good as this. He can't tell me which one is which. And he seems to not be able to tell me about them until he's quite close. Like, I currently have the thing. He is on the lookout for all of all sorts of stuff, but he has not been... 
He has not been giving me the heads up very much. Uh, Provis Cash. I've never looted- I've never gotten the Provis Key. I guess I didn't really get that many Ephemera Strand options. I, I didn't do that that many times. Hmm. Early March, unless you're in a warm climate, you're looking at flocking. I guess so. I just know that there's other- I see hummingbirds at other people's bird feeders in the area. I know they're still here. I know that there's hummingbirds year-round around here. I just uh, have not managed to entice them to my own balcony yet. Uh, is there a new expansion coming out? Eventually! They're announcing- they announced the announcement. So the announcement for the new expansion will be happening on April the 19th, and that's when we're going to find out a little bit more about what the expansion is going to be about. Um, I don't know that they would announce a release date at that time. They might. <laughs> or maybe they would just announce, like, quarter, whatever, year, whatever. They might have just, like, a, a goal season for release. That might be a possibility. How am I doing? I have 162, so I get another probably two treasures worth, and then I can get my rank six. Uh, yeah, I think the next expansion is dragons. I think that is wildly likely. Mm, I'm gonna run around a little more. That's just talk woods. Oh no. I guess I can kill these guys. Um, I used my cooldown blow already. That's unfortunate. Do I have spin cycle on? No. <laughs> the, um... Your poke poke with... poke poke with, um... The aggressive form with the upgraded spin cycle that casts Rend does crazy damage. I just forgot to put mine into into aggro form. I need to talk to him. I need cash shop. Beachwear cosmetics. My guild can have a day at the beach episode. Can you imagine if WoW got a new expansion in April? Imagine if they had just kept it all a secret. Like they were they were tired of the hype cycle and they were like, what if we just you know how sometimes musicians will, especially when they've been in their careers long enough to have gotten kind of eccentric and strange, they just like drop an album. They're just like, they wake up in one morning, they log on Twister, and they're, they log on to Twister? They log on to Twitter. They wake up one morning, they log on to Twitter, and they go, hey, bestie, new album, here you go. And then like nobody knew they were working on one. <laughs> it would be hilarious if game dev started doing that. Hey, besties, who wants an expansion? Uh, and then everybody, everybody, uh, it does. Mike Poco can't remember his stance for more than five minutes. Yeah, I thought that I had, um, I kind of thought that I had said him was aggressive, but it was a while ago. It was certainly a while ago. Okay, there's that one. And then, I'm just gonna do another, ooh, there should be another one over here, actually. They all kind of spawn at once, it feels like, sometimes. He looks with changing the world in 2020 with folklore. She just, she just did it. I don't think they'll ever again announce a release date. Yeah, certainly not very far in advance, huh? Uh, I thought there was going to be one, like, kind of up there. I kind of thought that we had this one up, but I don't see it up. Oh, no, 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 no. Up farther, up higher. The next one, maybe? Like, way up there? Can I, like, get all the way up there? No way, right? No way. We can get up here. Yeah, okay. I think I'm supposed to run up that hill <laughs> to get this one. This should be enough, though. I just want to know where you get the mustache for, for Poke Poke. Ooh! Do I know how to answer that one? I have that, I think. I think. Here, Poke Poke. Let me see you, buddy. Let me see you. So, first of all, um, if you could be aggressive, that would be great. And then second of all, costume options. Dapper. Yeah, it's called the Dapper Poke Poke. He gets a mustache, he gets a top hat, and horrifyingly, he gets a monocle for his little core, which makes him look like he has just one eyeball. And I swear he looks like nothing so much as Mr. Potato Head um, when, he's, when he's Dapper Poke Poke. Here, let me get a good angle on him. He's always rolling around. Tell me that is not Poke Poke the Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> <sighs> Uh, oh yeah, I wasn't done yet. I was getting, I was getting this one. Where did I loot that though? I bet I could look it up. Um, Dapper Poke Poke. Poke Poke is looking proper. 
contained an architect's reserve. So it's a treasure that is located in the top 61,37. And you can only access it after, like during the Sopranian Understanding questline. Until you complete the second chain, start with the lost component, and then you are an architect. So you need to do, you need to unlock Mount Protoform Synthesis, is what I'm getting from that. What'd you find, bud? What's up, Buttercup? Do I have 175? I do, I have 178. However, I want to get some extra treasures just because I'm not, a, I'm not convinced that I'm going to be able to spend like an even 175 on my board. I may need some extras just to afford stuff. So I'm going to pick up a couple more because I see a few. I see a couple. There's one up here. So I bet I can just kind of pop up with my bracers maybe. What? There's one right here. And then there was another one like right over here somewhere. Was it just in the corner? I saw it. It was a chest. It existed. I saw it. Where'd it go? The snail should fly <laughs> with a magic trail. Um, okay, maybe I've given up. Maybe, maybe, I, maybe I forgot where I saw it. <gasps> Set it this way. More like the Pringles guy. Anyone tried the non Zareth Mortis Poke Poke? I don't have it myself. I was waiting until after I got everything on the board to un like I wanted to fill out the entire board, which is actually a little after you get rank six. But after that, then I'm gonna save up my, my ciphers for it. And also the toy. I think the toy's kinda cute too. Oh, it's right on the ground. I'm always looking for it to be up, so I never expect it when it's just on the ground. Okay, so there's another one. It's like right around. Sometimes it's a little iffy about whether or not you see the map things for them. Okay. This one is. Okay, it's up here. Look. That should be a good chunk of ciphers, right? Yeah, 198. How do you do that? Ha! Huh? I have a piece of cipher equipment that says it lets me travel great distances, and that's what it means. It's a little baby door of shadows. Um, activate the dimensional translators to cross a great distance in outdoor shadowland zones, but it just works as a little hop. Uh, it's, it's a misleading name, but it's great for getting up to treasures and stuff. Okay, so let's go turn this in if I can and see if that gets me, if I can get my rank six. I wish pops would respect Pavin. Sometimes, sometimes they do. Um, I feel like they've let a lot of things just kind of poof on up to the, all these little platforms because as long as there's like a path available, it means that we can door shadows up there. I have not had too many issues with no path available with door shadows in, in Xerath Mortis. It was worse in Corthia when I was there just now. Mm, should I get my buff? No, that's the wrong buff. The thing I do have troubles with, though, is occasionally they like to put Raptora and avian mobs on top of little perches, and it's super cute that they're just like hanging out there like a real bird. But that I feel like it tends to make them evade bug. Like even if you you have to get all the way up there, you can't. Often they don't want to fly on down to you when you aggro them from below. They're birds. They have wings. Okay. <laughs> This is gonna be so good. I want to know how much farther my little my little my little bracer thing goes. See, right now I can go about that far, so I can go from here, there, and that's at rank five. So it's worse at ranks one through four. And I wanna, so I need to sp I need to buy two more things. So I think I'm just buying. I need a cheap thing. Honestly, I think I'm gonna need a little bit more. I think I'm gonna need a little bit more research. Yeah, I'm gonna need a little bit more. So I get this one and now I'm 83. Yeah, I gotta go get another like 20. I knew it. I knew I was gonna need more than that. Darn it. Okay. Because now I only need technically to spend another 60 ciphers, but the cheapest thing I can buy is like 105. So I gotta go get more treasures. I'm not done yet. Hmm. Stealing the nest of baby birds. I need the birds to drop me uh, lattices. <laughs> And uh, other protoform synthesis materials, so you, they got it. They gotta die. 
they just they just kind of die. Okay, dokie. Let's go do. Mm, where have I been? Where have I been? I didn't. I haven't done the east side of the zone. I haven't done the east northeast in a little bit, so I'll head back out there. I have four minutes left on pink buff and five minutes left on blue buff. Uh, Poke Poke has found. Poke Poke has found. What have you found, bud? Is it a Corliss? It's not a Jiro. I want to make sure that if there's like puzzle chest that I do them because those will have ciphers in them but I have a hard time sometimes finding what he's found the toxicolic buff can be so silly is that one of the ones that I have oh I only have 10 minutes left in my buffs I always feel like the hour is gonna last so long uh, those are Jiro so yeah I can I can go Ooh. it's up excellent this is I can probably just yeah let's just pop on up to here that is respawned so yeah, I'm gonna make sure I get to like 105, maybe 125, just in case. Seem to be enjoying 9.2. How is the patch for a very casual player like myself, just looking to chill? I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. I think that Xerath Mortis will not ask too much of you, but it has things available for you if you would like to spend some time here, which to me is the perfect balance. I love this stuff. I do think I'm gonna run out of things to do here early. Well, am I gonna run out of, I'm gonna run out of things that I have to do, which lets me transition into things that I want to do, which I think is optimal. I think that's pretty good. But um, I'm gonna be out of things that I have to do pretty pretty quick. So the crystallic socket, you can put, you know those orb buffs that you get out of the, the enhancement console that you can put onto yourself? You can basically put one of those things and socket it into a piece of gear if the gear has a crystallic socket and then have that buff all the time whenever you're wearing the gear. I don't have any pieces with sockets on me. I had a chest, but I didn't keep it because I didn't keep my chest that had a socket because it was only item level like 233 or so and I wanted, it didn't feel worth it to lose that much item level. I don't know why I'm pulling this first. What if this thing despawns? It didn't feel worth it to lose that much item level just for, just for little orb buffs. So I didn't keep it. But I figure if I get a better one, if I get a piece of cypher gear that is higher item level, especially once I'm rank six, then that's going to be pretty cool. So now I need another Nazgai buff. And those are going to be the red ones. Yeah, so I just ran right by one. So there's going to be a guy like right back here. Sorry, bud. Pardon me. Gift of the... Oh no, you're genocide. I need blue. No, blue is... Oh no, this is this is Nazgai. Okay, never mind. <laughs> There we go. Top me up. Perfect. 15 minutes. Love it. As far as borrowed power systems go, Cypher gear is pretty awesome. Uh, gear item level. I got a 249 neck today out of a world quest at 5 of 6. So I guess 249 unless there's like a variance, but I think it's just the thing. Yeah, protoform synthesis is going to keep us busy for a while. I... Just, just getting, getting the, uh, the patterns doesn't take a crazy amount of time, or at least for, for a bunch of them. But it's going to be a long time before I have even just enough Genesis motes. Like if I want, I can go ham and start like farming Genesis motes. But I think I'm probably, eh, I'll farm them when there's something I really want. Like I kind of want to get Buzz crafted. I have all the stuff except for the motes to craft a Vespoid mount. And I would like to make it, but I need to, cr I need to farm some more motes next. So that's probably what I'm going to work on soon. I guess I just like doing this route in reverse. Hmm. <sighs> Uh, so yeah, the blue buff is an enemy range detection reduction, which means that I can kind of sneak by stuff without having to fight it, which is how I get kind of in the north of the scary zone without having to actually stop and do anything. Uh, lets you run around and loot treasures like this, which is great. And then the pink one gives me a higher chance to loot progenitor essentia from these same treasures, which is really nice because those sell for like 20, 30k each, at least on my server. And that's how I'm making gold lately, is I'm just looting treasures, hoping for Progenitor Essentia. I've been getting one or two a day lately, um, if, I'm, if I'm lucky. And uh, that's, that's pink buff. There is another buff available that gives you movement speed after defeating an enemy, but I don't bother picking that one up because I don't fight things. <laughs> I run around and I loot things. I only fight things if I'm farming for like a lattice or moats or if I am specifically... Uh, doing like a daily request or something like that but otherwise i don't really i just run right by stuff and loot treasures uh, waiting to be able to fly so i can farm some chests yeah chest farming i think is going to be way easier with flying but it's not too bad with the Jiro buffs i kind of had fun doing it on the ground for a bit um and i feel happy to have gotten my 
my research up kind of early because I, you know, figured out the different, well, I didn't figure them out. <laughs> Flabby figured them out and then he told me, but it's, uh, it's fun. It's fun to, to do it with the buffs. And then also it's some bonding time with my favorite snail because once I can fly, I have a feeling I'm not going to see my snail as often anymore. So I need to, I need to get my quality snail time in. Evening all you fine people. Good evening, Hazel. Good evening. How are you? Hmm. Hmm. I need to get more creative with cooking again. I've gotten very much into a, a busy rut of just food for the sake of food, for the sake of not having to eat again for a while, and that's been about it. But it's, you know, there's only so much energy and time in a day. <laughs> uh, do you find it silly that one of the mats for a couple of the mounts are from the raid? Mm, it doesn't bother, it doesn't wildly bother me. Um, a lot of them... I guess it doesn't bother me because I raid, so I can get them from within the raid. But it's not unusual for some mounts to be from raid. Mount collecting was never a thing that was always completely accessible outside of the raid. Oh, I should tag all that. Oh, there could be a Vespoid lattice in there. Let's uh, help out a little bit. Let's see, anything? Nope. Some Genesis mounts though. Nine of them actually. And then I saw there was a treasure chest. I think it might have despawned. Feridians up. Can I interest you in some veggie burritos? Probably. I got a veggie burrito from this place in town and it was like a yam burrito with like a chipotle sauce. And it's my favorite thing. It's not just like food, but like it's my favorite thing. <laughs> it's so good. Um, and I think I should probably try to figure out how to make something like that, but I'm not gonna, I'm never gonna do as good as, it's never gonna be quite as good as, uh, <laughs> as that one. I got a dagger transmog from doing that rare. That's kind of cool. I got Feridian's inscribed barb. Neat. I'm wearing a staff right now, though. Driving next to a taco truck, and I really wanted to ask where he was going. You just start, you know, give up on your plans for the day. Just follow the taco truck to his destination. <laughs> Cooking burritos stream. I could make tortillas again. Next time I make tortillas, I gotta make a half batch because I got so tired. It took me like over an hour because I was taking me, because I was rolling out 16 ta tortillas and then I was cooking one at a time, <laughs> 16 tortillas. <sighs> what did I say I was gonna get to? Like 125 research, I think was my threshold. Just to like make sure that I can buy something. This one is up, but it's like kind of on the other side, I think. I wanna like loop around here and then pretty sure it's just like up. Can I get up there? Oh, it's over here. Hm. That's another seven ciphers. Also, doing all of this gets you crazy. Like every treasure that I loot has usually one or two animal webbing, the blue anima item. <laughs> and you run around doing this for an hour and you're gonna have a couple thousand anima just to just you know for you to keep to take home and i and i find that i end up doing this you know here and there just like throughout the day because because i can mm. I tried to cauliflower mac and cheese the other night and i love it told us keto friendly too oh. people do all kinds of stuff with cauliflower <sighs> people do all kinds of stuff with cauliflower oh i bought a vegetable steamer actually I finally got myself just like a metal steamer basket that's like a collapsible one that you can fit in whatever pot you want. And it's great. It's like super easy to clean. It looks like it's gonna julie in your fingers. It's one of those ones that has like the overlapping plates that are kind of in like a petal pattern. And it looks like it's gonna be the end of you having a skin in your hands, but it seems like it's not so bad. Um, I haven't injured myself with it yet. Where is this chest? It's a cipher bound chest. It's, oh, it's right there. Haha, -ha, tricky. Oh, I got some mitts. I got some 249 gloves. <laughs> it's pretty nice. I want to know what the item level is when you're at rank six. I imagine it might, maybe 252. Um, I might actually get myself some gear upgrades. What? Nope, I'm going to need a door shadows up there. Not quite. Whoa. There we go. 
And then there's another one over there. I find this south area is usually pretty good for treasures um, because I think more people are doing the north zone and because there's like moss worn chests over there. So there's not as many moss worn chances out here, but there are, if you're just looking for raw ciphers, it's not bad. There's a, uh, and then what, what, here we go. All three of my Legos upgraded to rank seven. And <laughs> poor now, congratulations. Hmm. Chests love to hide. It is very satisfying when you spot it. Like, you know it's around here somewhere. And I haven't, I'm sure eventually I'll have memorized where they all are, but for now, for now, I feel like they're testing me, and I get very excited whenever I find it. Just to zoom in my mini map. Mm, it's not bad. Not a bad tip. I'm gonna forget to zoom it back out though, and then I'm not gonna find any nearby. Uh, I'm sure. Yeah, I've got 132 now, so I can definitely buy another thing. But the thing is, I'm just gonna run back, you know, and then maybe I'll find more. Oh, OTS is up as well. Maybe I'll find more treasures on my run back. So there's a, there's one that's just like around here just like off to the side just on the corner and then oh, what did i get progenitor essentia <laughs> salad Woo. i'm less poor oh down to 25k okay i sold one for I'm, i don't mind selling them for 20 if it comes to that i've done that as well but the one that i sold for 29k this morning felt pretty good there's also otiosin who i do like to kill because i want um ambiston lattice this one, I'm gonna try to get up onto that ledge because sometimes you can get kind of trapped inside the thingy. <laughs> uh, can I sell the one? Yeah. 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 Let's go. Oh, I forgot to turn my Poke Poke on aggressive. So I have three ways that I can stop the heal that he casts after his paralytic slime. I have three different ways I can do that. I have stun. So here's the spew, so we, we dodge the thingies, and then we and then we silent, have silence, I have fear, and I have stun. So I just need, next time I'm gonna stun. And it's always after the paralytic spew. It doesn't hurt that bad. I find that these rares are way easier if you can kind of do them without too many people showing up. Because when you have like a ton of people tagging them and a lot of people aren't doing a whole lot of damage, you they just add health to the rare and it can take a really long time oh no oops i say as i forget to, as i miss my kick but it can take like a crazy amount of time to kill some of these rares if you have like a lot of people especially if they just like tagged it and then they're just waiting um sometimes that can happen with feasting because people were nearby just like doing stuff at pilgrim's grace and it can take just unreal amounts of time to kill them but if you can do them when there's just like one or two people so there's this view and then regenerate. Fear stops it as well. And then I have a silence for the next one. Uh, no, rares have scaling HP, so they will get more HP based on how many people have engaged them, which in theory is great because it means that um, uh, they don't like insta die if there's like a ton of people in the area all tagging them, like a bunch of people can engage them and it won't die so quickly that other people don't have time to get there and then engage it. But in practice, sometimes it can mean you have like everlasting rare mobs um, that just take a crazy amount of time to die. I will defeat you. One Ambiston Lattice, please. Hmm. Nope. Oh, my progenitor sent you sold for 29k. Wait a second. Wait a second. What? Oh, sorry, no. It sold for 25k. That was a, that's a graphics bug. <laughs> I'm thinking if the 29k one sold, then I'll cancel the 25k and post it for 29. That's fine. <laughs> uh, if it's about to die and you run up and attack it, it's not exactly going to heal, but its base health pool will increase. And sometimes it can effectively heal it a little bit. It's basically healing it. Uh, when did you get a new camera? Camera's the same, but it's a little higher now because I got it off of the desk. Um, I moved it, I mounted it on my monitor mount so that it wouldn't, it was like in front of my monitors before, so it was blocking me. So you're a little farther back and you're also a little higher up. I'm not hyper thrilled with it, but it's not bad. And it's, um, it's not bad and at least it's not falling down. <laughs> okay. 
So I need to go get my rank six, which I think I can just, you know, whiff, whistle on over there. Love the new angle. Thank you. Oh. Mm. It could be worse. It could be a lot worse. It is um, leaning a little bit on one of my monitors. The stand that I have it on is locked really steadily in all of the angles except for one. <laughs> I haven't... Um, one day, I'm just going to install... When I have, like, my own space that I can mess up any way that I want, I'm just going to install, like, steel bars. <laughs> like a steel lattice or something on the wall behind or around my desk, you know, so that I can, like, rig lights and cameras and stuff and microphones to all of it. So that it's all, like, mounted securely and in a good spot. Because I don't ever need to move the mount, really. I can record the news video and, and stream from the same angle. It's just, uh... <laughs> I need it all to be secure, and that is surprisingly tough to do without taking up a lot of space. I used to just have everything on tripods, but I was always knocking things over and tripping over all of it, and it's easier to have it mounted, but it's difficult to have sturdy, stable mounts that don't take a lot of space. Uh, what? What position or solution would you be hyper-thrilled by? I don't know. I would have to experiment. I have an idea that is based on vanity that my best angle is not from above my head because I have a better jawline than I have a nose bridge. <laughs> so by, by having my head tilted higher, it's a more flattering angle for me, which can also be achieved by having the camera a little bit lower. The traditional like selfie angle isn't as good for my face, but um, the camera's out of the way and that's basically what I can ask for. Okay, so I need to buy literally anything. Um, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna focus on cordless. Da -da -da. Cypher equipment level six of six. It doesn't give you like an achievement, I don't think. And I still have a couple more things to buy. I can buy two more ranks of death strain and then more of this, which is gonna take a little bit of time to unlock. I've got some more stuff that I can buy before the whole board is finished, but it means that my, my cipher equipment is now as, the, the new stuff I get is as good as it's going to get. Woohoo! I like the idea of mounting a shelf above my monitors, dangling stuff from there. You know. I wonder if I could do some of it. The idea, the problem with the steel bars idea is that it sounds exceptionally ugly. And I like things to be pretty, but I like things to be stable more than I like them to be pretty. Like, my current light mount is asking for trouble. It's just the only thing that that works that I have access to right now without causing other problems. I feel like whenever I'm setting something up or troubleshooting something in my space, it's a question of you trade one problem for a different problem and you have to, you can't just say, hey, I fixed my problem and then deal with any consequences. You have to kind of weigh the, weigh the consequences and figure out whether or not your new problems are worse than your old problems. Um, and that's a, that's a very personal judgment call. I can't stop looting treasures. There's like, there's a thing behind here. Oh, that's prying eye. Prying eye sucks. It's too high. There's another one over here now. <laughs> there's another avian nest. Um, oh, I should go back to Corthia to see if I can. Oh, I don't want to go back to Corthia. <laughs> Save it for another day. I tried for my mushrooms. I'm giving up. Hmm. How far is the jump now? Oh, that's a good point. I should do it. Here, I'll jump up to one of these things. There's a, oh, I need a new buff. Uh, that's creatine. But there is, there should be, oh, I'm just going to do it. So this is my wrist buff. Oh, it's pretty far. Whoa. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. It doesn't exactly say. It just says a great distance. <laughs> so I don't have like a, a, a yardage countdown, but. Uh, did I miss this one? Was I too slow? Was I too slow? Oh no, I was not. It's right here. In the first boss room, it's on the left. It's on the left. So if you're facing the wall, um, I bet you there's got to be a, a wow head map for you that's going to be more useful than me saying left. Uh, let me see. Serenade. Schematic. So, yeah. It's, it's kind of towards the corner. The front left area of the room. I'm not really familiar with that map. <sighs> Safer felt easier and more rewarding than I expected, even with the days long. I'm surprised that I'm getting this close to having done everything for it, 
when we're only a couple weeks into patch and I can't even fly yet. I don't know if that means that I went too hard on treasures or if it means that they really didn't make it all that punishing and that it's, you know, it is doable to finish it. I lost my buffs, so I don't, I'm, I don't have a chance at progenitor essentia, or at least not a good chance. Huh. Ooh, safe red string. Okay, so um, that answers the question. 252 is the new item level. Also, that thing has avoidance on it. That's nice. Uh, when you get Cypher equipment, it will be 252 when you are rank 6 of 6. Have you tried Super Auto Pets? It's like Hearthstone Battlegrounds, but cute, and it changes a lot of stuff up. Games are more casual. You should try it out sometime. Dog Dog plays it sometimes. Oh, okay. I have not tried it, but uh, the Dog Dog seal of approval does does carry weight with me. Did you just... It's on the left? Well, it's on the left as you're facing the boss air, the boss room. You know, it's a contextual on the left. The problem with on the left when I get them from chat is that they're based off of a, an image that they're looking at that's about 20 seconds old while I'm currently moving through the game. Huh. Mm. <laughs> yes, yeah, stable over pretty is also a is also a good. <laughs> that's a good metric of uh, people in life too. That's a good point because uh, pretty does not pretty will change over time. It doesn't necessarily go away, but it will change over time. Whereas stable, I mean, I guess sometimes people start out stable and then they get less stable. But for the most part. You know, that's just a good character quality. Ooh, Forgotten Treasure Vault. It's so hard for me to stop <laughs> once I get going because there's always just like one more, one more thing. And then you're like, oh, well, I should, I should get my, I should go get my buff back up. Also the Bracer cooldown is like quite short. It's a minute and a half. Uh, there's just always like another thing that you can just go loot. You know, there's like another, there's a Mossborn supply chest. That has a chance to contain a mount. Even though I don't have my buff. So I'm going to annoy a bunch of mods on the way over here, but I think it's fine. I think I want to do it anyway. Moss Warren supply chest. Oh, it's gonna be on the other side, isn't it? <sighs> I think I can run up here. Maybe? Maybe? No. No, because I need to get on the other side. Huh. <laughs> Missed every day since patch. Am I too far behind to justify a reset? No, not at all. Uh, you can you'll you, you can get your stuff um, without too much trouble. You are going to be a little you're gonna get some things a little bit later than other people, but I wouldn't say you're too far behind at all. Um ouchie. Oh, that's a glider buff. That's not what I wanted to do at all. No! <laughs> ah, dear. Troubles. I... yeah. <laughs> I wanted to loot the Mossborn supply cache. You're trying to tell me that being a hot crier is not a personality trait. Being a hot crier is a self-esteem trait. Um, <laughs> if I want to cry, I want to do it privately by myself and I want to look good privately by myself. You know what I mean? <laughs> Never heard of a hot cry. I don't know if I've heard of it in that, in those words, but the notion of somebody that looks pretty when they cry is not a new one. It's definitely never been me, <laughs> but that's fine. That's why we do these things in private. Uh, so I wanted that. I can do it. You know how I do it? You know how we're gonna do it? One, cooldowns. I have 27 seconds left on that. Secondly, poke a poke with aggressive Korra routines and spin cycle. Thirdly, proto pear? Proto fruit flesh? 30 stamina? Sure. Yeah, okay. Um, so, what I'm gonna do. Excuse me. No, I should wait, because I've got 30 seconds on vampire, Vampiric Embrace, I'm going to need those two. I'm going to go wait over here. What I should do is I should drop down Fear. But, you know, that's not very brave, is it? No! <laughs> I ran into aggro range! Uh, I can do it. Listen, my Poke Poke slaps, okay? When he gets out his little sword and he does his spin routine, my buddy chunks. I know he can do it. I just need a, I need a good opener. I need like a good, I need to live long enough to get off like four or five globals. And I don't know if I have that kind of time, but I can do it. Running in fear? Yeah, yeah, you're right. 
When you're right, you're right. Uh, yeah, I was. I didn't. I didn't mean to get an anchor range of them yet. I didn't know they could hit me up on the wall. Poco got nothing on Kevin. My Kevin is all attitude and no bite. Now my Kevin doesn't do anything. My Kevin shows up for moral support alone. <laughs> I don't know how other people's Kevins work, but oh, that's also an option. Is somebody else does it and does a much better job of it? All right. Uh, here I'm helping. <laughs> To be fair, these mobs hurt, but, uh, here we go. Lovely. <laughs> Delightful. I should, um, I should get out of here before I get trapped in the endless, the endless treasure cycle. <sighs> I want to farm Genesis modes. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Uh, does your Pokepoke -Poke keep dropping the buff? He forgets about being aggressive sometimes. Sometimes I tell him to be aggressive and then he'll do it for like a little bit and then he forgets and then you have to tell him again. Mm, I think I dropped my buffs that time because I died. <laughs> Finished my cipher research 100% two days ago. Group jump and farm the same rare for ciphers. Mm. I've been doing pretty good from treasures, which I like because of the progenitor essentia, but I don't need this ring, do I? It's, it's Versa and it doesn't have a socket. It's hard for me to give up my socketed stuff, especially because I don't think we're getting any new socketed stuff anytime soon. Hmm. <laughs> it's just not in his nature. He's a nice boy. <sighs> I should do him record, but I don't want to. So, uh, also, I keep forgetting to pick up. Oh, yeah, there's no point in me picking that up because I'm going to, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Orbos. I'm going to pick up Night Fae for raid because I need to be night fae for raid. Is that 2k gold for the gliders in your bag? Yeah, pretty much. I am um, pretty much. I'm I'm feeling a little loosey goosier about spending gold on stuff to use. Um, I bought myself like a stack of 20 heavy desolate armor kits so that I can use those when I'm doing keys and also raiding. Um, I got myself like, you know, I'm, I, I bought like a bunch of um, materials to make these stone soups and like a bunch of proto flesh to put into them so I can help make feasts for keys and for raid. I've been I've been buying stuff. I bought some gliders for Xerath Mortis, you know? I am fueling the economy. I'm giving back to Lightbringer. I'm paying my taxes. I'm going to be a no, not a Kyrian, a Night Fae, that's the one. Farm the ciphers to get the long boy soul shape for a thousand. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. I don't know if I need any more soul shapes. I feel like I, I have a sufficient amount of soul shapes. Um, see, look, I'm a chicken. No, I'm a turkey. <laughs> I'm making poultry mistakes. Lexington, thanks for giving out five gift subs. Wish I was on your server. I have a thousand gliders in the bank. Pog again. Pog continued. To be fair, it's a very small turkey. On Lightbringer as well, if you ever need a tent. Thank you. Mm. I think we're mostly good. I run with I run with my 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 same little core group of people most of the time. <sighs> Tomorrow, I'm either gonna be on time and I'm gonna tell you guys that I chickened out of the thing that I wanted to do, or I'm gonna be on time and I'm gonna tell you guys that I did the thing that I wanted to do and that it actually didn't take that long, or um, option number three is that I'm gonna be late and it's because I'm out doing the thing that I want to do. So, if I'm late tomorrow. How late can I be and still stream? Because I have raid too. I will see. I will post updates in the Discord as I have them. Uh, my enlightened rep. Yeah, I'll show you here before I go. Let me let me do that. Reputation. Eight thousand four hundred and thirteen. Eighty four thirteen of twelve k honored. Hmm. Stream the raid. I can't stream raid. I don't want to stream raid. Raid is raid is quiet private time for me and friends. I don't want it to be, I don't want to. And also I'm a, I'm a bad streamer when I'm raiding and I'm a bad raider when I'm streaming. <laughs> they need all of my attention. Demon hours kind of stream. Yeah, I don't know about the demon hours. I think if anything, I would just do a baby one and then and then make up for it on the weekend. Um, used your guides too much. I feel like it's not enough. It's perfect. Thank you. Bye, Hazel. Good luck. Yep. So I'll see you guys tomorrow, unless I'm super late, in which case I'll see you Friday, but I'm going to try and be here tomorrow. Wish me luck. Pray for me. Cross your fingers and toes. I'm going to need it. <laughs> going on an adventure. Eli, thank you for the seven month resub. Happily subbed, even though I can't see as much as I like. Thanks guys. Appreciate it. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day.